What's up friends, it's Moultrie with Rumble Lab. Have you ever heard of a fidget spinner? Of course you've heard of a fidget spinner. Everybody has a fidget spinner. They're kind of old news now. I actually didn't have one and I 3D printed this guy right before we recorded this video. And it's a TIE Fighter. And who doesn't want a TIE Fighter for a fidget spinner? So yeah, even if fidget spinners are old news, spinning things are super cool. Like you take a bicycle tire and you hang it from a string and you let it go, it's going to want to fall back down. But if you get it spinning first, it'll want to stand up and rotate in one direction. If you rotate it the other direction, it'll now spin the other way, which to me is really crazy. Now since fidget spinners are old news, we wanted to show you a new type of fidget spinner, the rumble top. In fact, tops are actually the original fidget spinner, but they're really cool and fun to play with. For the rumble tops, you invent your own and you take it into battle. And the best inventor, well, they're gonna win. But even if you don't have your Rumble Lab kit, don't worry, we'll put a link to where you can get yours in the description below. We're also gonna show you how to make some super cool ones from things you have lying around the house. So let's go ahead and get making. For our first DIY top, all we did is we took our little rubber bouncy ball that you'd get from a quarter machine, drilled a hole in it, and then stuck a toothpick through the hole. This thing spins forever. It's so crazy to me that instead of wanting to fall over when it's off at an angle like this, it wants to stand up. This has to do with this term called gyroscopic precession, and it's the same reason why the wheel actually wants to stand up whenever we spin it. Ah! Our next DIY top came from the inside of a little electric motor. Inside this little electric motor is what you call a rotor. And basically when you send electricity into it, it generates a magnetic field which interacts with the permanent magnets inside the motor and causes the rotor to rotate really, really fast. And in fact, it's designed to rotate fast. So that means whenever you spin it, it's gonna spin really well. This is one of our favorite tops. It's actually really cool how it behaves. To get the rotor out, all you have to do is pry open these two tabs and the back will just come off. You can throw away the outside of the motor, clean off the rotor, and then voila, now you have a top. Most of our tops we get spinning by snapping our fingers, but we found that this one might be a little bit easier if you kind of spin it with two hands. For this top, all we did was take the lid off a Gatorade bottle and stuck a toothpick through it. It worked really well. And then we added a couple of BBs to it just to see what it would do. It was cool to see how when you spin the top, the BBs align on the outside of the top. And then this one we were just goofing around. We took an old candle and then made a little hole in the bottom for a BB lit it and spun it. We wanted to see what would happen with the flame if it would make like some kind of fire tornado. Maybe we'll play with this to see if we can make it be more like a fire tornado. But overall it was just kind of cool. But yeah, just have fun with it. We really want to see what you come up with. Try and make your own and be sure to let us know by tagging us at the Rumble Lab on social media. These are just some ideas but there are infinite possibilities. We've been really surprised with what you've come up with so far. And in the next couple of weeks we're going to have a top making contest. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and then ring the notification bell next to it so you know whenever that top contest goes live because we're going to be awarding some cool prizes to our favorite designs. So yeah, as always, thank you for hanging out with us. Have a wonderful day. Happy inventing over and out. Oh yeah, I forgot. On that lightsaber video, we sent it to our friend Bob at I Like to Make Stuff and he told me to give you guys a high five that y'all did an awesome job. So from Bob at I Like to Make Stuff, high five.